Well, hey all, welcome to another edition of Horrible Playing on Heavenly Instruments. Today I want to share with you one of the most fun guitars I've ever played, a 1969 Les Paul Personal in absolutely pristine condition that we picked up at the Arlington show. I just want to share a little bit about its tones and controls. Uh, looking at the controls, the knobs from front to back, there's a volume, decade, treble, and bass. Then on that tone plate that's shaped like a Tylenol, uh, there's a three position tone preset as well as a phase reversal. You'll notice that the body is a little bit bigger than a standard Les Paul, especially across the top. It was deliberately designed that way and, and Les had his hand in it. And the one uh, fun control, uh, in case you haven't noticed it yet, is the knob up here, which controls, yes, the microphone. The microphone is stock. It plugs right into the top of the guitar, as you see. The, again, this was Les's idea. His thought was he could walk around and talk with people and kibitz and that kind of thing. And he wouldn't have to worry about being tethered to a real microphone. So uh, to find one with the mic is, is a miracle. Um, most uh, of these, the, the mic has been long gone or broken, but, but this Closet Queen uh, has got the original mic and we're so grateful for that. It was one of the incentives uh, for purchase and also adds a tremendous amount uh, to the value of the guitar. So with that said, I just wanted to look at some of these specs Let's look at some tones together. The, um, the amount of tones this guitar is capable of uh, is truly remarkable. So we're just gonna cover a few, but I wanted to share the control layout and also the tones with you. So let's have a look at that. The thing I failed to mention was that um, this is a 1969, and that was the first year of production for the Les Paul uh, Personal. It ran from about 1969 to 71, 72, somewhere in there. And it also had a sister model called the Les Paul Professional. The main difference would be that the personal had the gold hardware and, of course, the, the wonderful microphone uh, that you could talk into. Uh, so those were just some two basic differences. Uh, this is one of about 143 that were made. So there's not a ton of them uh, around, especially in this condition. And it also comes with the original case and transformer adapter, which you need for the low impedance pickups. So I just wanted to give you that information. But let's look at the neck pickup. We are in tonal position number three, which is the forward position. Now, to me, that's counterintuitive. To me, the front ought to be one. But in tonal position number three that we're going to look at first, you get uh, full-blown open controls. Uh, you get the decade and the pickup selector. That's it. So it, the number three position is kind of both pickups wired in there. The decade is a treble roll off. We're going to first listen to the decade wide open, which means all the highs possible out of these pickups. We're in the neck position and it almost has an acoustic-y uh, type of sound. <laughs> I'm going to swing the decade the other way, totally, so you can see the contrast. Now, this is with the highs rolled off and just the mids in there. Listen to the difference. So there's, there's quite a difference there. For the sake of our uh, demo, I'm going to kind of put it in the middle uh, so it's, it's not too trebly, not too mid-rangey. Let's listen to the mid-range, uh, I'm sorry, the mid-selection. Uh, this has got a nice little squish to it. Now, one interesting thing in the middle position, I also have access to a phase reversal, which gives me a really quacky, maybe almost funky tone. So let's listen to that. In the 
bridge position, still in tone set number three. Uh, very nice uh, twang, almost Fender-esque. <laughs> get the idea. So that was in position number three. Let's look at what position number two does. Okay, we are now in preset number two. Uh, all of the controls are in place. The volume, decade, bass, and treble, as well as, of course, the pickup selector switch. Uh, just for the sake of contrast, I've got my treble all the way down, my bass all the way up. We're in the neck position, and uh, just to get some kind of maybe jazzy tone. Now I'm going to open the uh, treble up all the way. We'll look in the middle position. Uh, again, that nice uh, snappy. That's with the reversal on. Let's listen to it with it off. the treble with everything up. We've got our uh, decade uh, all the way down. So we're going to get a little bit of a different treble you sound. Okay, let's look at position number one. Okay, now position number one on your pickup uh, preset, your tone preset rather, um, is odd. What, how it's wired is both pickups are on all the time. The only thing available is your volume control. And the way you would alter sound is by using your pickup selector switch. Now keep in mind, it doesn't vary the pickup. It, it varies something tonally in there. I can't explain it to you, but that's how it works. So third position, both pickups at once, and to vary tone, you use your pickup selector switch. This is in the uh, neck position. Kind of a nice full sound. Got a nice little high end too. Now in the middle position, and, and that's also got a nice little uh, squish to it. What I love about this is, I don't know if you know this, but we're getting a ton of fender sounds out of it. And now in the bridge position. You can hear both pickups on and uh, just kind of cool. So that's basically the Les Paul Personal. It's capable of so much more. Uh, I wish I had time uh, to show it to you. But uh, I hope this gives you a basic idea. Uh, thanks for listening. If you have any questions about the electronics or the guitar or anything like that, please feel free to write. Uh, this is just so much fun. And thank you again. God bless you and have a great day. Uh, now for some bonus footage. I realized I didn't demo the microphone, so I thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to turn off this green mic and I'm going to turn up the uh, guitar mic that's plugged into the body. Okay, I am now talking to you through the guitar. Um, the quality of the mic is uh, limited, I would say, and you need to talk relatively close to it, but I imagine that helps with feedback. So I just wanted to give you a quick demo of the microphone, uh, and again, what a fun instrument. Thanks so much for watching.